Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Garrett with The Cage, and today we're taking a look at the LG Tone Free, a wireless Bluetooth headset by LG that was recently launched. The idea behind these is to be a similar style to the Apple EarPods and the Gear Icons. Basically, we have two independent ear earbuds for uh, listening to music, taking phone calls, all those kind of things. And then our neckband here is actually for charging and for storage. So these connect to each other and then to your device itself um, through Bluetooth 4.2, which is fantastic. I'm glad they're keeping up on the Bluetooth profiles here. And when you're not using them or wanting to charge, they clip into place here. They do have four uh, push buttons here to release them, so two on each side. And the nice thing is if you happen to accidentally bump one of these, it doesn't let go. It requires both of them to be pressed before it'll actually let them go for the most part. With a little bit of tugging, you can get it off, but each side does have that release. Along the left-hand side, we have a micro USB charge port here. And then on the inside of the right-hand side is your on-off switch for your device itself. LG says on their packaging that the earpods themselves will get you at about three hours of continuous use and the neckband itself will increase your usage to about seven hours. Honestly, I got about two and a half to two hours and 45 out of these, which isn't horrible. Uh, comparatively on the Samsung icons, you got about an hour and a half all the way up to almost four hours, depending on how you're using them. And the way LG gets away with uh, cutting up uh, a lot of features that a lot of the other earpods offer versus bogging them down with additionals. So these do not offer any kind of proofing. So there's no waterproof, sweat proof, any additional things like that for, to keep that taken care of. And there's also no onboard storage. So the gear icons offer four gigs of internal storage that you can actually load music on. And then finally, there's no health features in these. So, you know, if you're interested in those kind of things, these definitely wouldn't want to be what you're looking at. And they don't offer any ambient sound. So if you're wearing these, a lot of the others let outside sounds in via a feature. But unfortunately, LG kind of skipped that on that as well. So when it comes to testing audio, I test on a mix of rap, rock, pop, uh, country, techno. I got a bit of podcasts, uh, audiobooks, and phone calls. So when it comes to testing all those, the, the highs on these were mediocre. It really wasn't the pe best experience. But surprisingly, the bass um, wasn't too bad for what they for what it was. Uh, downloading the LG Tone and Talk app did change things a bit. Not only does it give you battery life information through that, but it was able to switch the equalizer built into these from either more bass, a normal experience, or more treble. And I usually set mine on more, on a higher bass quality just because it seemed to actually do better overall with my music. Uh, I could hear a lot more background sounds going on. Vocalists in the background sounded much, a lot cr more crisp. And just sounds in the background just itself are brought forward more. And I appreciate a headset that can do that. One thing I will note is that make sure you wear the right size of silicon tips on this. I originally had the small pair and they did not uh, fit right, and they ended up letting a lot of sound escape, and it really changed my experience going to the larger ones. It created that seal and kept that music inside. Now, when it came to phone calls, audiobooks, and podcasts, overall, the experience was phenomenal, actually. The sound quality was great. Voices sounded very crisp and clear with no issues on either end of phone calls either means that the left side has the microphone in it uh, and audio only comes out of the left hand side. It was one of those experiences that was a little bit different to get used to, but overall the quality was fantastic and range. I was able to walk through several doors and shut them in about 30 foot range, if not more, with no disconnects or any issues with either side hearing anything. So I appreciate LG for really making that standout feature because a lot of headphones nowadays I still have problems with range. Now the downsides also to this one is there's no way to control your volume. So if you're listening to music you have to pull out your device to actually control that which is a huge letdown to me. I was really hoping there was some kind of button pressing or some feature itself that I could do that with. Now LG does put on each side a multi-function button to press to one press answers if you're getting a phone call, press it again to hang up. Same thing with music, if you press it once to pause music, press it again to start playing. 
and a double press on either side will also skip to the next track. However, there's no way to reverse the track. You cannot back up in songs. So kind of like an 8-track, you have to drive around the block again to hear your favorite song. But I wish that was a feature. I wish maybe a triple click would give us a rewind option. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Also, something else to note is the left-hand side is the only side for phone calls. Sound will not come out of the right side when you're doing phone calls, and the mic is all only on the left-hand side, so keep that in mind. One nice thing is you can actually clip these into the neckband itself, and it will instantly pause your music. When you pull them back out, put them into place, press the multifunction button, it'll instantly start playing again. Um, longevity on these, I wore these for about an hour and ended up starting to get a little bit of ear fatigue. I think that's because of the shape. The, the square shape is a little different, so make sure if these are not working with your ears, you take them back or return them to wherever you went, got them from. Also, when you press the multifunction buttons, you are pressing a little bit on your ear itself, so it can be a little bit discomforting on that too. Now, for LG's first time really doing a true wireless earbud, uh, the MSRP on these is $199.99, and uh, it is kind of steep. However, comparatively, a lot of headphones nowadays with these true wireless earbuds are that expensive. Now, again, that's MSRP, so that's saying that the manufacturer listed them at that price. However, you can find these on sale a lot of places. So, you know, cost-wise, at $200, I can't recommend these. It's way too expensive for what the, what it is. However, you know, right around the 100 bucks, it's not a bad deal. It, you do gain a better battery life, like I stated before, comparatively to some of the other brands. However, you lose a lot of features. So, again, no ambient noise, no health tracking, no onboard storage, no resistance to any kind of sweat, water, anything like that. So, you kind of, this is, I'm going to gear these towards more towards the office person the worker inside of somewhere covered, um, school, students, things like that that are looking for this experience. They're great for those kind of things. Or again, maybe you're just a driver and you just want something simple and efficient. This little concept here, snapping into place, is great, and I love them for that. And actually, weight-wise, they're actually fairly w light. I was really surprised by wearing them that I actually forgot that I was wearing them a lot. All right, guys, so on that note, I'm going to leave it there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I'll answer as quick, quick as I can and efficiently as I can because, you know, I'm constantly testing out new headphones. I actually got a review for the Tone Platinums coming out very, very shortly. I finally got a pair of those at a great price, and I'm super excited to share that with you guys. But being this was a newer product on the market right now, I wanted to get to these much sooner. So, again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And... I'll leave it at that. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Um, if Check out some of the other reviews over some of the headsets I've done. And until next time, you guys, stay frosty.